G'day guys, Tiny here from Off Tap Brewing. I uh, just wanted to shoot a couple of quick videos on a little project that I decided to do on the fly this week. I'm making a cold storage shed or unit for my grain. Now what I've got is this freezer panel. Um, that's one of the sides. That's the inside, that's the outside. I'm not too worried about the outside being dirty. And I got myself from work today, I folded up a few of these angles. And there's an eye just riveting them on. She's got the rivet gun and I've got the drill. Um, this is the base. And as you can see down there, there's room for the side panels to go in in there. So um, I'll take a little bit more footage when there's a bit more bit more showing on it. But um, yeah, it's just gonna go here next to the Carmen gear, and I'm gonna hook uh, there's going to be a lid on it and there's going to be bags of grain in it and hopefully this will take 40 bags of grain, so one tonne of grain as I get them up. And an air conditioner on the side, retrofitted so it can, um, it can chill everything down. Alright guys, more to come. Okay guys, there's the back panel almost on. Just got to rivet uh, along the outside down there. We're a bit cramped on space here, I'm trying to build it right next to the car. So, so I've got my little wife there getting around with the with the jiggy. Um, once she's finished those last two rivets, I'll angle it back the other way, drill and rivet, and put the other corner post on over there, like this corner post. There we go, I'll just turn the fan up. Okay, just update you on today's progress. Today's progress, I got the uh, tops trimmed down. I've got the side panel in and the and the front panel. Also, I brought the trimming home from work. If you can see the profile on that, um, that's capping to go over there. Now, when the capping goes over there, before it goes over there, I'm going to cut it so I've got a nice even 45 degree angle on all the corners, so it looks nice and nice and schmigo. And uh, what's left? What's left uh, today? Not much left on it. I'm going to pull up stumps because it's been raining and I'm not dragging my power tools out through the rain. Um, I've got one side panel here to cut out and to cut the hole for the aircon. I've got the lid um, to cut to size and then um, cut in half. I think I'm just going to go two panels for the lid. That, that should be a read, right? I'm still undecided. Really, two or three panels. I, I really can't make my mind up. But um, uh, oh, there's foam everywhere. <laughs> there's styrofoam everywhere. Don't eat the styrofoam, puppy. Doggy, don't eat the styrofoam. Um, so yeah, trim, cap all the edges of the top of this. Cap the uh, edges of where the air conditioner is going to go. And like I said, cut the lid down. So uh, I probably will go three. I don't know. Don't know. See what happens. But yeah, no, she's looking pretty schmick. And then. Um, it should be ready. Should be ready by tomorrow afternoon to start putting the inside corners in. And I'll show you what I mean if I can get this out without damaging too much stuff. Have this. Oop. Ah. All right. So. That'll be the inside, like that. Um, so the inside capping, and that'll be riveted, and that's where the elastic and sealant will go in, all in behind that. And that'll also come up the edges here as well, all around. Um, so it's gonna be a nice little sealed unit. Awesome stuff. Can't wait for tomorrow's little update. Cheers guys, time for a beer I think. Let's, uh, let's go and get one of those. Till tomorrow. Friday. Um, chiller box update. Uh, I was hoping to get a fuckload more done today, but um, you know, I had a guy come over and seriously, guys, we just talk brewing all day. But um, this is where I'm at. Uh, Cone and sealed all the way where you can see the red, all riveted in. Solid as. I'm actually surprised how. Um, there's only a rivet there, 
and a rivet there, and then down the bottom, and down the bottom. But that, like, that is so solid. That is amazing. That is awesome stuff. So yeah, tomorrow I've got to get up early, uh, compensate for the hour or hour or two hours I lost today. Um, but yeah, tomorrow we'll line that up to here. I gotta cut the little flashings to here, cut the cut the uh, panel out for there and the air conditioner, trim all that up. Um, yeah, tomorrow's just all fitting and trimming, so I should um, should be able to get it all done. Let's uh, let's test the bag of grain. How does that work? Let's have a look at that. <clears throat> I hope the camera doesn't fall. No falling camera. So that's what we're talking about guys. Um, a bag of grain being that big. Stuffed in. Okay, six high. And one, two, three, four, five, six. There's a lot of grain gonna fit in there. And then plus, I can stack grain standing up in front of. So, you know, everything's working out well. All right, let's have a bit of a sober update tomorrow with a little bit more production, guys. <sighs> when people come over and wanna speak brewing and drink beer, you've gotta accommodate that. All right, till next time. Alright, now I'm getting ready to uh, notch out the corners for the um, capping for the back. So, because I want the, I don't just want to butt it up there and butt it up there and then just have that bit there all, um, you know, exposed like that. I actually want to run a 45 and bring them both in so they meet up nicely. So, um, you know, that's just a simple process of measuring from there to there, putting that measurement from there to there, doing a line, cutting up straight and cutting across to there. So I'll, um, I'll do that and show you what it looks like. Okay, now you can see what I'm talking about. Um, I'll have to tidy up that, it's a bit high there, but I'll just grind that back and then proceed to do the rest of them and I'll because these are all scrap pieces from work obviously you know I couldn't just take them at the right size so there's no need to glue that on because that's not coming off in with any great hurry okay let's go uh, coffee time all right there we go we are trimmed up on the panels till here all on the edges. Um, now, the corners are okay. <laughs> I'll um, fill that little hole with, with a bit of elastic. That's fine, it's on. And that hole there, that's okay. I can even cut some corners out at work and, and actually dress them up really nice if I am so inclined. But that's all stuck down with elastic. All the corner molds riveted in. I just riveted that one in with elastic underneath it. So um, now I've got to cut the panel out for this for this end here and cut the hole for the air conditioner. So I had better go and do that. And then all that's left is to trim the air conditioner hole with this stuff here um, and then cut the little pieces for there for there and the uprights when that goes in and then just cut these corner pieces out so one across there and then two little ones there and there so this is the box that scrap built Clive pays the hoard doesn't it mate this is going to be epic this is going to be awesome and then after that I've got to cut three panels for the lid I'm probably not going to use this point eight on the lid because it's a bit hard to get over the raw edge once you cut it. it, sort of opens up a little and takes a lot of bashing and stuff like that. Going over these edges, 
it's fine, they're nice and tight. It's rolled, it's nice and smooth to go over. But, um, yeah, going over the other edges um, is not gonna happen. I had a lot of trouble down there with that one. Didn't hit a few, few parts on it. Um, had to bash, roll the corners over and stuff, and yeah, so I'll, um, you know, keep those ones there for um, something else, another project, one other day. And I'll have enough in that one to trim up these edges, I think. So that's where we're at, guys. I'm gonna go cutting. Yeehaw. Alrighty, guys, this end is uh, in, the air conditioner's in place. Um, I've decided to, instead of trimming around the hole with that stuff over there, I'm going to use the leftover part to that. So I'm going to be trimming the air conditioner in, like that, with the leftover bits. Now Kate's kindly volunteered to jump in. Uh, grab your step ladder, because then you're not ripping my sides off my box. But that's it with the um, aircon in. And obviously with the way the angle of the aircon is sitting, I'll have to make some more of these at work also to uh, on a different angle out here. So go like, um, you know, go under 90 on that and over 90 on that on the other side just to make it sit nice. Uh, we don't want the air conditioner sitting in there square because the water will pool in the bottom of the air conditioner. All right, Katie's in. We've just got to trim these little parts here. So she'll need a broom and some Celastic and tell me measurements. It's coming along guys. Hopefully it'll be finished by lunchtime, most of it. Okay, just one more rivet to go to uh, get the inside all fully trimmed. And there it is. Katie's got the good job because the aircon's already on. Nice and cool in there, Katie? Very. Yeah, very cool, very cool. All right guys, that's what that looks like. Obviously, obviously I'm going to need to, as I said just before, um, it's hard not to repeat yourself when you're doing things in, um, you know, half an hour breaks. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll have to uh, remake or rebend some flashings to, to tidy up that air conditioner unit. Um, but it's in there, it's running, it's all nice and trimmed and there's the first bag of grain. All nice and trimmed, the lid just needs to be fixed up as I said, I'll do that. Um, I'm going to actually start moving the grain in now and uh, before lunch, before it gets too hot outside, I'm actually gonna go and cut the lid, cut the lid across, and then into three segments, I think will be, be the way to go. Um, and yeah, so look out for the finished product, guys. Tiny's Off Tap Chilled Grain Chiller Box Fermentation Chamber. Imagine how many fermenters we can get in this one, Chubby. Hey, that'll be mad. It'll fit. 50. <laughs> Good stuff. It's coming along, guys. I'm I'm really really wrapped on how solid this thing is. It is it is immovable now. It is solid as a rock. It, it doesn't budge. <laughs> it doesn't budge, eh? I'm actually I'm I'm really surprised with you know what's what's holding it together is just pretty flimsy, but structurally this thing is sound. It'll hold. I reckon it'll hold a ton of loose grain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, clean up the inside, Katie, and then uh, I'll help you out, and then we'll um, and we'll get some grain in it. Go and chop a lid up and have a beer. All righty, uh, Kez has come over to help me with the last part of the brew build. Uh, Kez from Kez's Brewery from Bubbles and Chalk. We've got the lid on. We've got the air conditioner in. We got it running, and we got this sucker full of grain. So there we are guys, apart from a little bit of capping on here which I'll make at work over before Christmas, um, cold stored grain come fermentation chamber. All for under a hundred bucks. Pays the hoard doesn't it? Can't go wrong with that. It pays the hoard doesn't it? Hey? As I so. said the missus, I'll use it one day. I'll use it one day, that's it. Today is that day. Well, Tuesday was this day when I designed this. Tuesday was that day when I designed this. But um, yeah, we've got the bugs moving out of the. We've got the bugs moving out of there because it's been sitting in the yard. But that's all right. They're not going to eat much grain. Two lids. What were two lids, guys? Um, and yeah, just apart from the trimming, this one's done. 
Kaj bi da res? Ti, mek si smara.